My name is Dan Mullen. I work at Remax Estate Properties. And I have a video series about uh, cool jobs in the South Bay. It's a lot of uh, uh, cool things that people do for a living here in the South Bay area. Um, and these go on my, they're going to go on my real estate website, danmullen.com, and they'll also be on YouTube. Anyway, uh, today's video happens to be of my brother Todd. Uh, Todd is a crane driver in the, down at the docks. So anytime you're in the harbor area and you see those big gigantic hammerhead cranes, uh, my brother is one of the drivers of them and, and his job is to load and unload cargo or containers from the, the big ships that come into the port. Okay, here we are in San Pedro. We're looking across the main channel at an evergreen container ship that is docked at the evergreen container tem terminal on Terminal Island. We're filming this from the parking lot of the USS Iowa, which is a battleship that was built in 1940, served in World War II, and now it's a museum. It's open every day of the week, 10 to 5, so go check it out. Very cool place. So in the background here, we're going to check out how big the container yard is for Evergreen Terminal, which is actually right below the Vincent Thomas Bridge. And they can hold up to three ships here at the Evergreen Terminal. Right now we're looking at the Vincent Thomas Bridge, which was completed in 1963, and that connects San Pedro to Terminal Island. Uh, it used to be a toll bridge, and it was named after Vincent Thomas, who was a jock at San Pedro High School and also a state assemblyman. So we're really here to to kind of check out how the cranes work on these big sh container ships. So there's five cranes that work this ship. They're called hammerhead cranes. The crane at the back that we're looking at is the aft crane, because it's the after part of the boat. And the crane at the front is called the forward crane. We're going to concentrate here on the mid-forward crane, which is dropping a container below the deck right now into the hold of the ship. So just so you know, these big container ships, they have uh, below deck and they have above deck. So right now they're loading containers below the deck of the ship. Um, this particular container is being dropped in by actually my brother Todd, who is a, a crane driver, steady crane driver for Evergreen. He's a longshoreman. He's up in that cab right now, or cabin, and uh, he is controlling what is called a beam. And the beam is what you're going to see right now coming up. So it's released the container, it dropped into the hold, and it is, he's now controlling the beam. He's taking it over, back over onto land, and there is a container waiting for him to pick up that is on the back of a UTR truck. So it's either on a chassis or a bomb cart. So Todd will drop the beam down on top of the container and it'll lock on. If it's on a chassis, the longshoreman will make sure the container is disconnected from the chassis. If it's on a bomb cart, he can just pick it up. So then he will pick it up and swing it over, bring it on the ship, and load it to the, uh, to the appropriate spot. So these containers are, there's three different sizes. There's 20-foot containers. This one he's loading right now is a 40-foot container, and there are 45-foot containers which are the ones kind of on the right that are actually a little bit bigger. You can see them, they're stacked on the top of the two on the bottom. So, so those are 45 foot containers. It's all part of the intermodal transportation. So these containers are like Legos um, and they're uniform throughout the world. Anywhere you go in the world, you're gonna see containers. It's kind of a cool thing. But intermodal means they will work on ships. They can go straight from the ship to a truck or they can go straight to the rail. So they work on trains, they work on ships and they work on trucks. So anyway, the Port of LA, um, the labor crews, uh, they're all longshoremen and they work three different shifts. They work from eight to five on the day side and the night shift is from six to three. And there's a hoot that connects the night to the day shift. So basically the port is running 24 seven. Now the Port of LA, it's the largest container port in the United States, and when you combine it with Long Beach, it's the eighth largest container port in the world. And 896,000 jobs in our region are supported by the Port of Los Angeles, which is pretty dang amazing. All right, 
right? So there's Todd dropping another container down there. These containers here are mostly empties. Okay, so what happened here was I was filming one day at the uh, parking lot of the USS Iowa, and the police came and said, take a hike. We don't have a filming permit. So anyway, we have a small boat, so I decided to take that into the harbor with a couple friends and my dad, and we watched uh, Todd work from, from this vantage point. So this is a couple days later, um, and a different ship completely. So uh, Todd is loading this ship back up, and most of these containers are empty, but some of these are full. So uh, when a ship comes into port, then they do just the opposite. They unload the ship, and they take the containers from the ship and put them on bomb carts or chassis, and the UTR driver drives them, and they drop them off in the yard where they need to go. And then outside truckers come pick them up, or, or they're loaded directly onto the trains. Cool part here is my brother who's up there working has a GoPro camera on, and he is going to actually, uh, he's actually filming what he's doing right now. So uh, we're going to actually check that video out too, which is pretty cool. So the Port of LA uh, exists because uh, it's a two mile breakwater from Cabrillo Beach that goes, uh, well, it goes out two miles, and that created the safe water for the, for the shipping industry here. A guy named Phineas Banning came over and he was really responsible for the, uh, the, the getting the harbor in this location and the growth of the harbor and fighting for the breakwater. All right, so uh, the ship's selling today. So when the job's done this afternoon, uh, this ship will take off, head up uh, prior to San Francisco, Oakland area, and then probably up to Vancouver, then over to the uh, Asia, and then it'll load up and come back. All right, so now we have Todd stepping in his early morning. He's walking into his cabin, and we're going to check out his perspective and his, uh, his talking. should be using lane two today. So our trucks will come up. I'll grab them right here. Pick up the container. Pick it up. Pick it over this stack. I'll have a container on the beam, so we'll have to be sure we get it all the way up to clear this stack. And then we'll take it offshore. Drop her on down. And if all goes as planned, there will be a boat right out there filming us. It'll be coming in the channel. Up the channel. There's the cruise ships right there. There's the Vincent Thomas Bridge. And my beams are swinging. Okay, it's about 10 o'clock, two hours since I last did that opening video. We filled up one, two, three, four, five cells so far. Working on our sixth cell. That's uh, 45 moves. And uh, Dan should be coming around to film in about a half hour or so. Going out over the Sandshore stack, dropping her down. Got the can locked on. Flippers up, hoist. We 
got to make sure we get high enough to clear this uh, inshore can here. Kind of judging it by when the beam is just over that uh, can right there. Then I can jam out. And we drop it. Now we got uh, the cell guides are offset. So I'm going to go out past this one and let it swing back in. The one on the... Uh, offshore side of this is lower so when I go to was doing that I was kind of hitting that as a backboard here we go past and then pull it back in down we go and slow down right before you hit the other can so you don't slam it too hard we got our landing light green lights unlocked and away we come come on come on come on We gotta make sure we get uh, over the four high cans. So we're using this stack as a judgment. Before I really start to gun it, I gotta get right about there. And there we go. The other can will be lined up. Next one in line. I'm gonna go down and get it. Got a good signal man. They've had everything lined up perfect for me today. A rough start on some twin 20s below deck, but uh, these 40s we're uh, getting them in pretty well. We got 270 moves to finish today, and then uh, the ship will be selling tonight. Offshore to inshore until we get all the below deck filled up, and then we will cover up the lids and uh, put some cans on deck. This will be our last one. Leave the rest for my partner. He's not going to be happy. He's got a lot of work ahead of him. <laughs> 